Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter, and today I will be showing you how to use bookmarks in Google Chrome, which is a very invaluable tool that allows you to actually get back to any one of your websites that you love using with just a click of a button. That being said, let's give it a try. So right now I have Google Chrome opened and for an example, um, let's say I had a YouTube channel in mind that I just wanted to have access to with just one click. So if I navigate over to YouTube, you can follow my steps to go to any sort of website you visit regularly, maybe a doctor visit site or banking or any sort of website you can think of. And I'm just going to look up Let's just do this particular video as and an we're example, back in minus the YouTube ads. So in order to favorite something, what I'd recommend doing is there's this little star up here at the very top right of your screen, you'll notice. And if you hover over it, it says bookmark this tab. So when I click on this star, it allows me to actually change the name of this website to my liking. So if I wanted to simplify it, I don't have to have this entire name be my bookmark name. I could just simply call it Jazz. And by default, it saves it to a folder called All Bookmarks. But if you'd actually like this to show up on your bookmarks bar here, you actually have to click on this and go down to bookmarks bar, select it, and then hit Done. Now, um, if you don't notice anything show up here, that's possibly due to the fact that you have bookmarks bar disabled. So to make sure that's good to go, go ahead and navigate to the three dots here at the top right. And then we'll go down to bookmarks and lists. If I hover over that, we get the option show bookmarks bar. Go ahead and select that. Now that we've done that, we see this bar show up right beneath here. And you'll also notice that that bookmark we just made called Jazz is right here. So let's pretend I have a brand new browser sequence, just started my computer, and I want to quickly get back to that page I was visiting. Now that we've bookmarked it and it shows up here on our bookmarks bar, you can go up here at any point and just click on this right here, and it'll take you straight to the page that you wanted to bookmark. And if you had accumulated a ton of these over the course of use, you can actually manage these relatively easy. So to manage your bookmarks, you can do one of two things to get to this page. If you have this bar here, what I do is I right click on any empty spot, and then I can go into Bookmarks Manager, which is right here. Now in Bookmarks Manager, it gives you a lot of different options with this three dots tool right here. Um, on the top right of this particular window, you'll notice that it's going to be right in line with this search bar here. Go ahead and click on that. And what you can actually do here is you can add folders in your bookmarks bar. So if you are really starting to accumulate things and you wanted to have things more organized, say music or banking or any sort of thing you can think of, even recipes. If you were accumulating hundreds of recipes, you certainly would not want to have all of them coming across the screen here. So that's when folders really start to come in handy. So I'll go ahead and click on add new folder here. And I'm just going to call it music and then go ahead and hit save. Now when you've done that, you'll notice that there's a new folder right here called music. And it's really handy on Google Chrome. You can actually take any sort of thing that you have here, make sure that you click, drag and hold, not just click on it. Otherwise it'll take you off this page. So just click with a left click, hold, and you can actually drag and drop it in this music folder. And when you've done that, you'll notice that it's disappeared from the bar. But when I click on the folder itself, that's where it lives now. So that really helps you organize and keep things cleaned up. And if you decided at any point that you don't want this bookmark anymore and you're not using this jazz YouTube video anymore, you can right click and you can delete the bookmark just that easy. And um, on top of that, if you wanted to import bookmarks from any other browser, say you've decided to use Google Chrome after using Microsoft Edge or Firefox for a long period of time, you can actually import your bookmarks by going up here to the top right, clicking on that, and then that's where you can import your bookmarks. So by selecting that, 
you will get an option to actually open a location and find where your bookmarks exported would be. You will have to know how to export bookmarks out of whichever browser you're switching from. But you can also do that here, say you are switching out of Chrome, they give you the option to export all of your accumulated bookmarks so that you can import them onto a new computer, onto a different version of Chrome, or onto other browsers like Firefox, Edge, Safari, the list goes on, there's a lot of browsers out there. But with that in mind, I do believe those are the basics of using Google Chrome bookmarks, and I use these all the time, especially the folders. It just really helps keep everything organized and really clean. So if you have any questions on anything pertaining to bookmarks in Google Chrome, or I suppose if you have any questions, period, you're always welcome to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.